Welcome back everyone, Scarland here bringing you another Never Winter video and today is a little weird of a video. Now I'm going to add this video into my lockbox guide playlist, however we're also going to have a discussion along this video. So not only are we going to analyze this new uh, special lockbox, but I actually want to have a discussion about it as well. So on your screen now uh, is the announcement for this weekend. So maybe you're watching this video in the future. Maybe they re-release this specific lockbox in the future. But current time um, is going to be July 26th, 2019. I don't know when this video will go publish. Um, like I said, if you're watching this video in the future, you can always reference it in case they do re-release this lockbox specifically. So this was announced uh, on the 25th, like I said, today is the 26th of July, uh, and they have introduced a new lockbox to the game. It's called the Magnificent Resurgence Lockbox. Now these are going to be on sale, uh, as well as all keys are currently on sale, 15% off. So this lockbox bundle will actually cost 2000 uh, Zen, which is about $20. So you're basically playing a dollar per key. Uh, and they're also going to toss in a lockbox with your purchase. Uh, so the sale ends uh, throughout the weekend. It'll end on Monday. But the key ring and the lockbox will uh, disappear on Thursday, August 1st. So let's go ahead and jump in game. I want to analyze this lockbox and then we're going to have a discussion about it. Alright guys, and here we are in game. This is what the lockbox looks like. Like I said, um, it is on sale. Currently, all keys are on sale, specifically this weekend uh, as filming this video. Uh, so we're specifically going to be looking at this right here. Like I said, it's 15% off right now, which is 1700 So I'm, sure, I'm assuming it'll be 2000 Zen. Now what you get is you're obviously buying 20 enchanted keys. But they're kind of tossing in this bonus lockbox here. Um... And the thing is, is that this lockbox is basically just an upgraded version of the Glorious Resurgence lockbox. Uh, they've upgraded the contents of it, which we're going to go through, um, and they just tossed a new name. So instead of Glorious Resurgence lockbox, it's now the Magnificent Resurgence lockbox. Um, but it is what it is. So you're essentially buying keys, right? I wouldn't recommend anyone... Uh, drop everything of what they're doing and try to, you know, buy these and accumulate these. Uh, there's nothing special in them. And that's one of the major problems that I have with this, which we're also going to discuss. So if you were going to buy keys anyway, then, you know, it makes sense because you're getting the lockboxes. And the lockboxes are actually selling on the auction house uh, for a pretty high uh, price point. So essentially, if you were going to buy keys anyway... Uh, and, you know, you're basically getting a couple keys free. You're paying $17 for 20 enchanted keys. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go ahead and open this lockbox either. You can buy the keys, open whatever lockbox you want, and then sell these on the market to all the Timmies. Um, so, <laughs> it is what it is. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. So, like I said, essentially this is just the glorious resurgence lockbox, except it's modified. So, you have the top tier rewards here, and it's going to be a legendary mount pack. So, if we inspect this, you can clearly see that all this is, again, is the glorious resurgence. However, they updated it and now tossed in some of the latest mounts from the previous modules. So, for instance, you have the T-Rex pack in here. You could pick one of the two T-Rexes. You have the carpet of flying. You have the triceratops. You have the swarm. Uh, you have the Deep Crow and then the very latest uh, Hellfire engine. Um, you also have the artifacts in here. Eye of the Giant is still in here. So they upgraded it to a degree as well as all the old mounts. So they upgraded it to a degree as well as the companions. You still have the Bear Cub, the Polar Cub, the Owlbear Cub, and the Boule Pup. Uh, the problem I have is the artifacts. I mean, the Token of Chromatic Storm and the Eye of the Giant are practically useless now that we're using level 80 artifacts. So... I mean, essentially, uh, you could still get the metallic Dragonborn out of here. But like I said, there's nothing eye-catching in here. There's no reason for you to drop everything and be like, oh shit, I need to buy these and start popping boxes. Again, that's one of the issues I have with this. Uh, so we have the epic versions of all those legendary mounts. 
Um, and now here's what I want to talk about and the main point. So we do have a companion pack. Uh, this is all the companions um, up until this point, basically, as well as all the old companions. Now this would have been a prime opportunity. I don't know who makes the shots when it comes to Perfect World or Cryptic about what gets placed in the Zen market. I don't know who has control of that. However, their marketing department should be ashamed of themselves. Um, Cryptic is so out of touch with the community at this point that it's disgusting. Uh, and sadly, Perfect World is the same way. This would have been a prime time uh, to put the Alpha Company in this. Like, there's no reason to buy this, right? There's no Gambler's Premium. This lockbox, I'm assuming, doesn't have a higher ratio of pop and legendaries. It's probably a typical ratio. I'm sure fellow uh, YouTuber Rainer, if he has the time and the means to try to accumulate these, I'm sure he'll do a sample video, uh, you know, of popping these boxes and getting a, a ratio. But keep in mind that the only place you can get these is on the Zen store. So if Rainer on the live servers uh, accumulates these and transforms to preview uh, to get us a ratio, that's going to be completely up to him. But going back to what I was saying, we all know what the Alpha Company is, right? Um, and it's one of the most sought after for its 5% in power. However, there's no way of getting that companion currently in-game. If you got one back when it was released, then congratulations. We never knew that the companion changes were going to be coming. That companion back then wasn't very sought after. Uh, I had two or three of them at one point, and I sold them at a very low price. Now, if you check your platform's auction house, clearly the Alpha Company is going for 20 million AD, you know, give or take. So this would have been a prime time uh, for some marketing on either Perfect World or Cryptic's part. Why didn't they put that companion in here? People would have bought this box by the dozens. I mean, there's a lot of people in game that are missing the Alpha Company. Uh, and the developers had promised us that it was going to be introduced again or a new companion would be in its place with the same ability. Now, we already know what the Mod 17 companion is. Um, I haven't put that lockbox video out yet. It's the es Excavator, I believe, or what whatever the newest lockbox is for Mod 17 that will be coming. I think there's actually two of them in Mod 17. We already know what that companion is, uh, and it's useless. So... Again, this would have been a prime, prime time to just take advantage of the market. Not only for the veteran players, but new players as well. Let's not mistake, like this whole sell and everything is strictly for new players to be uh, buying Zen to open boxes. Anyone that's been around the game long enough has the means that they can transfer their AD to Zen. And then if they decide to pop boxes... That would be their prerogative. However, let's let's not you know miss the point here as far as uh, a business aspect goes. This sell is strictly to uh, lure new players in that don't know lockbox ratios. I mean, they see the opportunity to get you know a legendary mount, and you know they don't know any better, so they're going to drop twenty dollars here. They're going to drop twenty dollars there, and you know take their RNG chance. Uh, but what about the veteran players? Veteran players obviously know better. And let me just say, like I said, let me reiterate, I mean, this would have been a prime time uh, to place that Alpha Company in here, right? Uh, if you agree with that, you know, let me know in the comments below. But as a veteran player, there's no reason to be dropping money on this box. There's no gambler's premium. They don't promise a higher uh, RNG ratio. There's nothing in here that's appealing uh, to any veteran player for that matter. So, of course, we have the Genie's Gifts. Um, uh, we also have the artifact pack, which is, like I said, why, uh, I mean, the artifact pack does have the new artifacts in it, which I'm kind of puzzled about because I don't think this is actually dropping. I think it's actually bugged currently. I only say that because looking for all the packs currently on the auction house, of a, as of filming this video, uh, there is none of these for sale, and I find it very hard to believe that no one has gotten one of these, so either A... Uh, it's simply not dropping, or B, people are actually opening the artifact pack and then trying to sell one of the new artifacts. Now, that is the only thing good I can say about this magnificent 
uh, pack is that they did actually include all the new artifacts. Uh, that's great. That is absolutely great. That is a A plus move in my book, but it's the only A plus move. Like I said, um, the Alpha Company in here would have been a spectacular. They went ahead and they upgraded this to all current mounts as well as all the old mounts. Uh, and the artifact pack, like I said, I don't know if it's bugged and it's not dropping or people are actually open it, but I find it very hard to believe that there's literally none for sale on the auction house. I haven't checked the other platforms. I'm sp specifically talking about Xbox. So there's just none there. So people are either opening these and trying to sell the, the raw artifacts, or maybe there's something broke with the artifact pack and you can't actually sell the pack. I don't exactly know what's going on there. Like I said, we would need fellow, fellow YouTuber Rainer to actually uh, provide us with some raw statistical data. But that's about the only pro I can say, guys. Uh, so then, yeah, moving along, you get, could have the chance to get uh, three Genie's Gifts, uh, five Companion Upgrade Tokens, two Cubes of Augmentation, uh, two Rank 9 Runestones, Jadeite, and then the Tarmaloon uh, Trade Bar Jackpot. So for your middle rewards, it's a pretty standard setup. You have the Enchanting Stone, Brilliant Diamond. They did include the Best in Slot Enchantment, so that's another appealing aspect. However, they have the Eclipse here. So I don't really know why they put the Eclipse here, but I mean, they do have the Vorpal here. So again, it's appealing to new players. Uh, if you're a brand new player, let's say you drop, you know, $50, buy a handful of these, um, and you can start with a Vorpal rank 9. You know, that's not that bad of a deal for a new player. You got your Potencies, uh, rank 6, rank 5. You got your Enchanting Stones, Alexandrite, Blood Ruby. Your, your typical normal lockbox stuff. Uh, moving right along down to the utility re rewards, they do have the legendary insignias in here. Uh, epic, rare, and then two uncommon. Uh, stronghold vouchers, there's no reason for this not to be purple vouchers. I don't know why they think that it's a okay to give us green uh, stronghold vouchers. This could be a visual bug. We'll see when we do our own minor test to see if we actually get any epic versions. And then wrapping out, we do have the uh, black opal. So, yeah, I wouldn't exactly drop everything to go ahead and, you know, get these. There's no gambler's premium on it. There's, there's just nothing appealing for a veteran player in here. Uh, so that's going to be, I mean, I can't tell you what to do with your money. I can only advise. So that's going to wrap up the guide for the Magnificent Resurgent Lockbox. I guarantee we see this again down the road, either as a premium Zen market only item, or they might even start letting it drop in the game. Because keep in mind, guys, that's another thing. Uh, lockboxes are free, right? Whatever the current lockbox is on the drop table, you literally get those for free. So they're just giving you these as a bonus, because essentially you're paying the money for the enchanted keys. So as a testing sample, I do have 120 of these. Uh, that would be about $100 uh, American, so 100 USD, um, or around a little over 10,000 Zen. Uh, we are going to pop all 120 of these just as a minor test to see what we ultimately end up with. Alright guys, like I said, we're going to open 120 of these. This is a very small sample size, but like I said, that's going to be up to Rainer. If he wants to open a bigger sample size, uh, that's up to him. If he wants to accumulate these on the live server and then move them over to preview. Um, so, I'm not hoping for much. I mean, if we do pop a legendary out of 120, I would consider that a win, obviously. This is about $100 USD or a little over 10,000 Zen. Um, I'm really curious to see if we can get the artifact pack, as like I said, I don't see any currently for sale, so that kind of throws up a red flag. Um, we are, you know, talking about cryptic here. I mean, it could just be broken. It could not even be dropping out of this. Uh, the mount packs, the legendary pack, the epic mount pack, the companion pack, those are all currently for sale on the auction house, so... Uh, someone leave me a comment below if you guys have seen the artifact pack or maybe you did get yourself one uh, Let me know so we have some concrete evidence on that So let's go ahead and get started here. I know this video is getting a little lengthy. So we're gonna plow through uh, 120 of these Maybe maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll pop a legendary. I don't have very high hopes, but you you never know guys RNG is RNG. So right there actually we did get major influence voucher 
So, it's just most likely a visual bug, even though it's a stronghold voucher and it's listed as a green. It did give us a purple voucher, at least. Nothing's, uh, unfortunately catching my eye right now. I mean, well, I mean, there we go. There's an enchanting stone rank six, at least. Uh, rank five potency. Uh, so we actually did, uh, just pop a regal dominance. So now you're talking about some somewhat decent money right there. So there's a regal dominance. That's not too bad. Specifically looking for the legendaries, obviously. I mean, I personally don't need anything out of here, so... I mean, you can always use the refinement and the marks and whatnot, but I, I typically, me personally, doesn't need anything out of here. I'm strictly going for uh, epic pulls, and if I get lucky enough to hit that legendary. Not looking good so far, though. We're about 30 in right now. We are getting some epic insignias, though, so those could have a possibility of selling. Thirty five in right now. Uh, so there's another enchanting stone. Not horrible loot, but like I said, it's nothing to drop everything for and, like, buy a ton of these. I just don't see it. I mean, this is literally just the Glorious Resurgent box, except it has upgraded mounts. The artifacts would be a huge hit, but I don't honestly think they're dropping. Uh, so we did hit a Brilliant Diamond. However, those aren't really in demand anymore since the RP values were adjusted. Uh, I, I wasn't paying attention the whole way, but I think that might actually be our first Vorpal right there. Uh, so that's a Vorpal rank 9. We're almost coming up to the halfway point right now. Haven't hit one epic or legendary yet, so that's 60 in. <clears throat> Clearly, I can safely say that these probably don't have a higher drop ratio than the normal boxes. If we can pull another legendary insignia or an epic pack, this will be worthwhile. So far, like I said, this has been honestly uh, a complete waste. Five in eighty six. Uh, Ninety in currently. Um, so there we go. We actually just did pull another bar. We pulled another dominance. So there's a barbed dominance. Uh, so that's not too bad. Out of ninety two boxes, we actually pulled two dominances: a regal and a barb. Uh, that's not horrible, to be honest. Now, of course, it's not the, uh, it's not the legendary mount pack, but, I mean, it is what it is, right? I mean, RNG is going to be RNG, so there we go. We pulled another brilliant diamond. Oh, there we go. Uh, so, there's the companion pack, guys. Uh, the epic companion pack. Now, like I said in the video, it would have been spectacular if they would have put the alpha company in there.
about 18 left, give or take. I don't think we're going to hit a legendary mount pack out of this. Uh, we did hit a potency six. That's not a horrible hit. Trying to finish it off here, guys. I know this video has been a little long, but I wanted to throw in the discussion as well as the opening itself since it's kind of a special box to a degree. We have about three left right here. I don't think we're hitting a legendary, boys. Last one. And there we go. So that's 120 boxes, 120 keys. We got uh, two rank six enchanting stones. We got one uh, rank six potency, two brilliant diamonds. We did pull a barb dominance and a real dominance. I can't be too upset about that. 12 uh, rank five enchanting stones. Uh, f what do we have here? 23 uh, rank four potencies, seven rank fives and then we got a bunch of refinement 244 opals 54 jadeite 4 alexandrite 16 uh blood rubies it looks like we did pull a good bit of epic insignias however the prices on these have gone down the, the dominance will still hold value uh here's our companion pack uh we did almost hit a thousand trade bars you can see at the bottom of the screen we got 105 companion tokens uh tokens rather uh, and then we did get a bunch of vouchers, nothing too special there. And then, of course, uh, all the rest, I think, is going to be enchantments, most likely. And then, uh, we yeah, so we only actually got one Vorpal rank 9 out of that. That's a really bad ratio, to be honest. Uh, 42 cubes, and then a, uh, the rest of the insignias. Uh, 30 genies gifts, 18 packs, more insignias, so... That's going to end the video, guys. I mean, do as you will. I can't tell you how to spend your money. Um, that's a very small sample size, obviously. Uh, if you're lucky, you can pull one legendary out of maybe 200. Um, we only did 120, and RNG was not on our side. So that is going to wrap up the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments or concerns, go ahead and leave them below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.